So team, keep it clean. Hey, I hope y'all feeling good right now because we got a lot of great stuff to talk about when it comes to these Baltimore Ravens. But before we get into it, I got to say I appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Let's keep on growing and leave a like on the video because that helps out the channel. That helps out, helps out all the YouTube behind the scenes stuff a whole lot more than you realize. Trust me. So I appreciate the fact that y'all have been doing that a lot more. So thank you for that. Now, with the Baltimore Ravens, Marlon Humphrey. He had been MIA for the past couple of games. We know he uh, he left. I forgot which game it was that he left early. It seemed like it was so long ago, but Marlon Humphrey been gone for a while, but he started practicing ahead of the Chargers game, but they did not play him in the Chargers game. We were like, okay, cool, no problem. Yeah, that's fine, but I, I was worried. I remember going into that Chargers game with Marlon Humphrey not playing. I'm like, Justin Herbert, he likes to throw it all over the place. So I was a little scared about that one, but... He didn't play, and it worked out just fine. The Baltimore Ravens still won, and that gave Marlon Humphrey even more time to rest. But now, this week, the bye week's over, baby. The bye week is over. We had a lot of fun during the bye week. I'm sure a lot of Ravens fans took little vacations here and there and whatnot, and y'all all chilling, y'all relaxing, like, oh, we ain't got to stress about them Ravens this week. And it was great, but we back now. Uh, and But so is Marlon Humphrey. Marlon Humphrey returned to practice, and he said, hey, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling great, I'm ready to play. So, Marlon Humphrey, we will need you against Puka Nuka, against uh, Cooper Cup, against them Rams, because they're going to bring it. They're going to bring it. They're feeling real good right now. Uh, every time they had uh, Puka Nuka and Cooper Cup in the lineup, they 3-0. They 3-0 with both of them in the lineup. So, Marlon can help the Ravens make that 3-1, hopefully. Let's see what happens Sunday. But anyway, uh, Matt BK. Not a BK who left the last game and he had like concussion like symptoms and whatnot. Uh, he was practicing as well. He was limited as a participant, but he was practicing. And the fact that he is practicing so early in the week, that is a great sign for the game coming up uh, this week against the Rams and Justin Matabike's availability because I'm sure Justin Matabike is going to want to show his his mentor, Mr. Aaron Donald, like, hey, you done taught me some stuff. And <laughs> I'm, I learned that stuff, and I'm showing that I can do that stuff now. Uh, I'm coming for you, Aaron Donald. So, hey, Justin Matabike, you on your way, baby. You are on your way. Now, you on your way to get paid for sure. But maybe if you continue this, you could be on your way to being one of the best interior defensive linemen in the league. Keep it up, baby. Anyway, uh, continuing. Trent Simpson, who had missed the last couple of games with concussion. He returned to practice as well. So it looked like, like the Ravens are getting all these guys back in practice. That's a beautiful thing. But he returned to practice. So that was really, really nice to hear about. And Malik Harrison. Who the Baltimore Ravens They designated him to return He was also practicing as well So again Ravens like Remember when Lamar said Hey we don't want to pick too early He was talking about Playing on the football field But this I'm going to apply to Not peaking too early To the injuries And to the health They don't want to be Too healthy too early So Ravens are still They're getting all these guys back Still And hey It's going to get a little bit It's going to get even better A little bit later We're going to get into it In a little bit though um, Now John Harbaugh He said he John, John Harbaugh said this like he ain't had to bring this up. He ain't had to talk about it, but he did. He said that he isn't planning on Ardarius Washington returning this year, but he's not 100 percent sure yet. Now that's crazy. That's crazy. Like I, I wrote Ardarius Washington off. I thought he was done for the year for sure. And Harbaugh is not saying that he's necessarily coming back, but I remember they had not given us anything with our Darius Washington for sure. They had not said that he's done for the year. He did have surgery early this year, but they had not officially said, oh no, our Darius Washington is done for the year. Every time they talked about our Darius Washington, they said that he had the surgery uh, and he would be out for a while, but they did not say that he would be out for the year. So uh, just imagine, like think about this. Pepe Williams, he was practicing too. Remember, he, he was out from since the beginning of the year. So Ravens are getting a lot of people back in the secondary, man. And for a secondary, it's been playing, pr playing pretty good. To be even health, ooh, everything lining up. I'm, I'm trying to tell you, everything lining up, man. Anyway, continuing. Um, now, while the, we did get a lot of people back at practice, and then it was some nice news on our DS Washington. I mean, it was not necessarily promising, but it, it was a nice little positive update on our DS Washington, telling us that there's a chance. Uh, with Rashad Bateman, he did not practice. Um, and I was thinking, oh, is it his back again? But they said it was just an illness. So maybe he went away on a bye week or something. I don't know where he was at. And maybe he got, he got a little sick or whatnot. But it's okay. Because I would expect all day. I'm, I'm tripping. I'm saying all day. Watch. I would expect Rashad Bateman to be back in the building tomorrow. I don't know nobody, though. That's just me. That's just a hunch. That's it. But if he got an illness... Let him get some emergency or some. Let him take some 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 black seed oil or something like that. Maybe some sea moss. What whatever. Get well soon, Rashad Bateman. 
Uh, and, and we still waiting on Rashad, Rashad Bateman to really have that that breakout because we've seen him make some nice plays here and there, but just we still waiting on that breakout game. I did see somebody said that um, I forgot the Twitter handle. I wish I could remember my, right now, but somebody said I'm not. They tweeted this back in October. They said I ain't tweeting again until Rashad Bateman get a honey all game. <laughs> They ain't tweeted since. So it's time, Rashad Bateman, Lamar Jackson, Todd Munkin, it's time to let my guy tweet again. Please bring his account back. Now, uh, Lamar Jackson, he had made a statement in a presser where he talked about, uh, and I really appreciated it, he said he talked about how every game, it felt like a playoff game. And... I mean, it's obviously not playoff time yet, but, I mean, it kind of is. Uh, and it's best to really start getting ready and getting prepared uh, in, for the playoffs because they're right around the corner, like literally right around the corner. Something that I was thinking about, too. Um, the, the Ravens are going to be playing the Jaguars. We'll see what happens with them. With Everything depends on Trevor Lawrence, but they're going to be playing the Dolphins. And, and then the Steelers, too. So I was thinking, like, Ravens could end up playing – one, maybe some of these teams again in the future. Now, my hope is that the because the Ravens are going to play the 49ers on December 25th, Monday Night Football. The world will be watching. Um, that could also be a potential rematch in the playoffs. And y'all know how that will be a potential rematch in the playoffs. So Ravens, like it, it, you got to be ready, man. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. And if you got to play a team again for the second time, then that means you would need to be extra and over prepared. Uh, but it ain't no such thing as being overprepared. So we'll see how that thing shakes out. Now, speaking of the 49ers, uh, remember that guy, Zach Ertz? Been pretty quiet on Zach Ertz. So I guess he's been sitting back waiting and watching. I think he really just wanted to see the Ravens play. That, that's what I think. I think Zach Ertz just like, you know what? I'm going to chill for a little minute. I, I want to see what these Ravens look like. Because I ain't seen them in a while. They were on a bye week when I got released and whatnot. I want to see how they looking. Because he saw how Philly was looking. He was like, <laughs> I don't think I want to go back there. And But now uh, they said that the 49ers, 49ers are interested in Zach Ertz. And one thing I really respect and admire about the 49ers is that they have been a strong team for years. But they continue. They're always looking for ways to get even stronger. They just added Chase Young. They're always adding people. They're always trying to get even better. And I, I love that about the 49ers. They do not stop no matter what. Um, so we'll see what happens with Zach Ertz. Um, we haven't heard of him making any visits to anybody yet, going anywhere yet. Um, now, one thing. That was interesting, and I don't know if y'all caught this too. Uh, John Harbaugh had a presser. I think it was on Monday. He had a presser, and in that presser, uh, they asked about his, that, I mean, the Baltimore Ravens' interest in Zach Ertz. And John Harbaugh said the famous saying, we like our guys. We like our guys. And when he said that, I was like, oh, Zach Ertz must be a BWI right now. Because we know we don't heard the Ravens say, we like our guys before. And we know you know what happens when they say, we like our guys? They still end up adding another guy at whatever position they talk about. I remember the, the, the most recent, uh, well, maybe not even the most recent, but one of the biggest times we heard that was a couple years ago. When it came to the wide receivers, they said, we like our guys. We're insulted that you all think we should add a receiver. We're insulted. We like our guys. What they do? <laughs> Drafted a receiver in the first round. <laughs> so, yeah. And they signed one in free agency, too. So, anytime Ravens say, we like our guys, yeah, they don't really like that guy. Well, not that they don't like that guys, but you get what I'm saying, man. Um, now, something that, it almost seemed like it was a little bit of petty from the Ravens, but I know it wasn't petty. It was, it was more so respect. Um, Odell Beckham Jr., he will be a captain uh, this week against the Rams, his former team. Uh, and Odell Beckham Jr. talked about it. He said he ain't got nothing but love for the Rams. Um, and, of course, I mean, he helped them win a Super Bowl. He unfortunately went out in that game, but he helped them win a Super Bowl. So he was a, a big part of that. Um, but he will be a captain against his team. So hopefully he'll be a captain and a big-time playmaker, too, because Baltimore Ravens could use it. This, this will be a nice game because, you know, Ravens, like I know I know y'all know already. Like Ravens, when, when it comes to significant players on their team, when they play against their former team, Ravens like trying to like, make these players show out. They, lo they love doing that. It's like when a player that used to play, when the Ravens go up, up against a team a player used to play for, the Ravens, they try their best to help that player show out. So I would expect Odell Beckham Jr. If you a fantasy person, I would start Odell Beckham. Oh, I'm gonna start him. I might put him in a flex or something like that. But I, I think that this could be a big game for Odell Beckham Jr. Not because it's just a, an emotional game or anything. No, but I really think the Ravens, they're going to try like heavy. But we'll see. Um, also, a little bonus to Pro Bowl voting. 
But okay, we ain't we ain't worried about no Pro Bowl. Like get Ravens players, get them votes, but we got other bowls to take care about to to, to, to take care of, excuse me. Uh Kevin Zeitler, he's the leading vote getter against the amongst the guards in the AFC. Roquan Smith, he's the leader in inside linebacker and Kyle Hamilton and Geno Stone. They the leaders at the safety position, at strong safety position. So that's a beautiful thing to see. Especially for Geno Stone. And for Kyle Hamilton being a second year player, Geno Stone being one of the lesser known players, but for them to be leading in Pro Bowl vote, that's that's a a lot that says a whole lot and i love that and I, I love that they're getting the recognition that both of them certainly deserve so that's amazing to see um and then the ravens will be wearing purple on purple uh this week against those rams so a little fashion update for anybody that might be going to the game or even if you're not going to the game you just want to dress like the ravens wear your purple jersey and wear some purple pants too and then you could fit right in like the rest of the baltimore ravens team keep it clean i love y'all so much i really do uh make sure you subscribe to the channel again let's keep this thing moving we've been having a very fun season and we still got a little bit of season left. And then we got them playoffs. Then the Super Bowl right around the corner. And we will be with you every single step of the way. Team Keep It Clean. I appreciate it. Love you all so much. We out.